Hello everyone, in this video we will walk through how to route the PCB. Once all the components are properly placed on the PCB, we need to use traces to connect them. When it comes to routing order, we should prioritize important signal lines, such as USB differential pairs and crystal oscillator lines. Back in section 3.5, we created a differential pair. Now, by clicking Route, Differential Pair Routing or pressing Alt-D, we can begin differential pair routing. Click on Ethernet in the pair, and the software will automatically route both lines in parallel and with equal lengths. For regular single routing, we use Route, Single Routing, or simply press the shortcut key W. If the shield screen layer obstructs visibility during routing, we can temporarily hide it using the layer or filter panel. Here I will first complete the shorter traces, followed by the longer ones. Traces can be adjusted by clicking and dragging. If we are not satisfied with a particular trace, we can simply draw a new one over it without deleting the old one. The old one trace will be automatically removed. If you don't want the previous trace to be removed when drawing a new one, you can disable this behavior by deselecting Route Remove Loop. At some point during routing, we may find that it's no longer possible to complete a connection using just the top layer. In that case, we need to switch the trace to bottom layer using VS. During routing, simply press V and EasyEDA will automatically place a VIA and switch to the bottom layer. Alternatively, you can complete a trace on the top layer first, then manually place a VIA through Place, VIA, or the shortcut key V. Each VIA belongs to a specific net, and we can click on a VIA to view or modify its assigned net. VIAs cannot be placed on traces or paths that don't belong to the same net. That's all for this video. See you next time.